Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are understanding designing layout of a web page by comparing layout design by using table tag and layout design by using div tag. In the previous video tutorials, we have created this web page layout by using table and by using div tag. And we have compared one with another how to create this layout by using table and how to create the same layout by using div. In this video tutorial or from this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to design this web page layout. We understand how do we design this web page layout by using table as well as how do we design the same web page layout by using div tag. We compare one with another and we understand step by step. First thing is we are going to create a container that is going to hold our complete web page layout. So Let's get started. I minimize it. I go to start. Type here notepad. I click on notepad. Then I write typical HTML structure. Opening HTML tag. Closing HTML tag. Then opening head tag. Closing head tag. Opening body tag. And closing body tag. In the head section, I am going to create a title. With the title set to layout design by using table. Closing title. File. Save as. I save the file at desktop with the name layout using table.html. Both sides I put double quotations and click on save button. I minimize this. You can see layout using table.html page got created. I right click on it, open with the Firefox. You can see that layout using table.html page got open and title is set to layout design by using table. I minimize it. I open the notepad. I am going to change this table to div and save the file as file save as the file name I am going to give is layout using div dot html both sides I put double quotation and save the file at desktop you can see that one more file got created with the name layout using div dot html page I right click on it open with the firefox you can see that layout using div dot html page got open and title is set to layout design by using div. Now we have two files created. Let me open the notepad and close it. I right click on layout using table.html page open with the notepad. Minimize it. I right click on layout using div.html page open with the notepad. Minimize it. First as I told we are going to create a container. So first I am going to create a container in layout design by using table.html page. Here I am going to create a table, opening table, closing table. It is going to have one TR and one TD, closing TD. And the content I am going to write here is main container table. This table is going to become a container or wrapper for our complete web page layout. So I am going to give ID here as wrapper. You can give here wrapper or main container whatever you like in this place. I prefer wrapper because most of the professionals will use the ID as wrapper. Then I am going to set its properties. Width it is going to have 900 pixels and it is going to have border of 1 pixel. File save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the table got created with 1 TD and you can see there is a space between outer border and inner border. Outer border is 1 pixel thickness and inner border has 1 pixel thickness. Total 2 pixels thickness it is going to become when we merge them. So first thing I am going to remove cell spacing. I say here cell spacing equal to 0 pixel. File save to the browser refresh. Now this border is actually of 2 pixel width. Okay. So we remove the cell spacing as well as I remove cell padding C E L L. P A D D I N G cell padding I set to 0 pixels. Then I am going to align this table to the center of browser. File save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that now the table is aligned to the center of the browser. Same operation we can do in layout design by using div also. I go to layout using div.html page. Here I am going to create a div with an ID of wrapper. And it is going to have a style set. Style is going to be width of 900 pixel first thing semicolon. Then it is going to have 
a border of 2 pixel solid gray color semicolon and then here I am going to write the content as main container div. So this div is going to become a main container for our whole web page layout or it is a wrapper for our whole web page layout. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the div got created but it is not center aligned. What I need to do is I have to use the margin property. M-A-R-G-I-N margin. I set auto semicolon. Then what happens? Automatically this div is aligned to the center of the browser. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that this is aligned to the center. If you compare both of them, they are looking quite similar. You can see that now we have created a wrapper. This wrapper we are going to use and inside this wrapper only we are going to put our complete web page layer. Hope you guys have understood how do we design or how do we create a wrapper or a main container by using table and div. Now we proceed further and create the header. To do that we are going to go to the layout using table.html page. Inside this td I am going to create one more table. So here I say table and closing table. This table is going to have only one tr and one td closing td and here I say header header content area. This table is going to have width of 100%. 100% means total width of this parent. Then it is going to have height heigst height. Height we are going to set to 100 pixels. It is also going to have bg color set to orange. It is not going to have cell spacing, cell spacing, cell spacing to 0 pixels. Then cell padding I set to 0 pixels. And the ID I am going to give it is header, H-E-A-D-E-R, header to uniquely identify it. You can see here I am aligning the attributes. Once I create this table, let's see how it looks. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the header got created and uh, wrapper also increased. You can see the border around. Let me put this content top aligned. So I go to this td and here I say v a l i g n align to top file save go to browser and refresh you can see that header got aligned top same thing I can do in layout design by using div also I go to layout using div.html page I am going to remove this main container div inside this I am going to create another div and this div is going to be having an id of header and it is going to have a style set to width w i d t h width of 100% semicolon it is going to have height of 100 pixels semicolon it is going to have background dash color set to orange semicolon double quotation let's see how it looks now file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the header got created content we don't have let me put the content also here h e a d e r header content area File, save, go to browser and refresh. If you compare both of them, they are same. And you can observe here, we are just converting the table to divs. That is how it looks now. File, save. I hope you guys have understood how do we add the header. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we are going to proceed further and create the next part of the layout. For more benefits and be updated, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.